So we are still in problem sets. For problems 37 to 42, solve the equations and check your answers. Okay, number 37. Let's start with number 37. So number 37 has the equation log of 3x plus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, so how do we solve this? Because this is a common logarithmic function, meaning that uh, this is a logarithm that is on a base 10, so 3x plus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, then uh, identifying the definition of the, the logarithmic function or the logarithmic e equation converts this logarithmic equation into an exponential function such that your base is 10. So 10 raised to 0. Remember that our exponent is th this uh, numerical value here. And our argument would be 3x plus 7. Now let me restate that into another color. So we will have 10 raised to 0 is equal to 3x plus 7. Am I correct? Okay, and anything or any value or any variable raised to 0 is equal to 1. So 1 is equal to 3x plus 7. Therefore, rearranging the equation gives us 3x plus 7 is equal to 1. My 3x is 1 minus 7. So therefore, 3x is equal to negative 6. And this, of course, will give me as, uh, an x which is equal to negative 2. Okay, this is my solution for number 37. Now, if you have a doubt whether that solution is maybe not a valid argument, then we could just simply substitute this negative 2 in the x for number 37. So just replace this x here with negative 2. That's negative 6 plus 7. So log of 1, okay, is equal to 0. Therefore, this is a valid answer. Okay? Now we go to number 38. We, have, we still have space here, so we'll go to number 38. And number 38 states that log 2 log x minus 3 plus 1 is equal to 5. So this is 2 log x minus 3 plus 1 is equal to 5. And this, of course, will give me 2 log x minus 3 is equal to 5 minus 1. And 2 log x minus 3 is equal to 4. And we could divide both sides by 2, just to simplify. And this will give me now a simplified expression, log of x minus 3 is equal to 2. And performing now the interchange, from a logarithmic equation into an exponential equation. This gives me 10 raised to 2 is equal to x minus 3. Because this one again is a, much, or is a common logarithm, so its base is 10, but it's, it's not visible. Okay, so this will give me 100 is equal to x minus 3. Therefore, my x would be equal to 103. If you have in doubt whether this value that we obtained is uh, a solution or not for the given expression, for the given equation for number 38, then we could always substitute 3 or 103 to the x in number 38. So let us do that. 2 log x minus 3, so that's 103 minus 3, so that's log of 100. 
plus 5. And we therefore get a valid argument. So this one is valid. Okay? Now we move on to number 39. For number 39, log base 2 x plus 3 plus log base 2 x minus 4 is equal to 3. So this again is an application of the different properties of logarithms. So log, okay, number 39. So log of 2 x plus 3 plus log of 2, x minus 4, is equal to 3. Note that they are of the same base. And for this equation to be able to work out, they must have the same base. Okay? Otherwise, it would be a confusing a logarithmic equation. So this 2 illustrates the property for the product. Okay? So, combining the two terms together, this will give us log of 2 x plus 3 x minus 4 is equal to 3. And now I'm going to transform them into an exponential notation or an exponential expression. So, 2 raised to 3 is equal to the argument x plus 3 x minus 4. Right, and this will give me, of course, 8 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 12. And this will give me an expression 8 is equal to x squared minus x minus 12. And uh, rearranging the expressions and setting the one side to zero, this will give me x squared minus x minus 12 minus 8 is equal to zero. So that my final form for this quadratic uh, equation would be x squared minus x minus 20 is equal to zero. I could solve this equation in by factoring so this will give me x minus 5 and x plus 4 right this is equal to 0 therefore we have the values what are my values here I will have x is equal to 5 or x is equal to negative 4. Now we check, okay, by substituting the values to the original equation. So when x is equal to 5, that will give me log of base 2. So log base 2 of 5 plus 3, so 8. Okay. plus log base 2, so the same base, of 5 minus 4, so that's 1. What does it yield? It yield 3. So therefore, this is already verified. The, the first uh, value of x is already verified. Now, let's take a look at x is equal to negative 4. If x is equal to negative 4, then I will yield a negative number on the for, for the logarithm with base 2 so that will give me log to the base 2 and negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1 and it is a math error meaning it does not exist meaning that we could just simply ignore the other value of x therefore our only solution set for this is x is equal to Okay, now let's move on to number 40.
Okay. For number 40, let me use another color. So number 40. Number 40 is log 2 to the x minus 1. Minus log 2, x plus 2. is equal to negative 1. Okay. So this is an illustration of the coefficient rule for logarith uh, logarithms. Therefore, this gives me the expression like to 2x minus 1 over x plus 2 is equal to negative 1. Now, I am ready to transform this equation into uh, an exponential uh, form. So, I will have 2 raised to negative 1 be equal to 2x minus 1 over x plus 2. Well, 2 raised to negative 1 is actually 1 over 2. So, that gives me this equation now. And using uh, the crisscross technique, okay, for equations, for algebraic equations, then I will have x plus 2 is equal to 2 times 2x minus 1, giving me x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 2. And rearranging the variables to the left side and the numbers to the right side will give me x minus 4x is equal to negative 2 minus 2. So this will give me negative 3x is equal to negative 4, giving me an answer of x, which is equivalent to negative 4 over negative 3, or x is just equal to 4 over 3 and we only have one value for x so this is the uh, solution set for number 40 now let us see if what we obtained could be taken as a solution set for number 40 by substituting x equals 4 over 3 to the x in number 40 therefore log of to the base 2 of 2x, so 2x means like it's 8 over 3, 8 over 3 minus 1 minus lag to base 2 of x plus 2, so that's 4 over 3 plus 2, and so that gives me 4 over 3 plus 2 will easily give me a value which is negative 1. Therefore, this is correct. Okay? So, we have two more equations left. And let's do them on the uh, next slide. So, I have number 41. Number 41 is ln of x minus 9 raised to 4 is equal to 8. And I'm dealing with a power rule this time, okay? Notice that this is a natural logarithm which has a base of e. And in so doing, okay, what we need here is to uh, raise this equation here, okay? into a base e. So this means that the right side will be raised as a power, okay, for the base e and also for the left side. So this will 
now give us the expression this will cancel okay x minus 9 over a uh, raised to 4 is equal to e raised to 8 well if you know a lot of techniques in solving this we could uh, easily note that we could divide both sides or we could raise both sides into a third root so that means that we could raise our x minus 9 raised to 4 into a fourth root okay or let me do it simpler so this means that this x minus 9 raised to 4 could be raised to the exponent 1 over 4 okay the same is true with the other uh, with the right side so e raised to 8 could be raised also to 1 over 4 and for similarity of course if you raise the other side to this exponent you also must have, must raise the other side to the uh, same exponent so this means that I could now cancel this and could simplify this also this will become 2 and this will lead me to another equation which gives x minus 9 is equal to e square and therefore my x is simply this is simply 9 plus e square 9 plus e square and there is a value for e actually okay e is approximately 2.72 so meaning my x would then be equal to 9 uh, approximately plus uh, 2.72 square so this will give me okay uh, my x is equal to 9 plus 2.72 square we're going to use the calculator now or 9 plus e square okay e square okay and that gives us 16.3891 okay rounded off to the re rest ten thousands okay so let me check if what I got is is correct if this is a solution for number 41 so if my x is 16.3891 so that gives me ln of x which is 16.3891 minus 9 and then uh, raise it to 4 okay this is equal to 2. this is equal to 8 so we therefore got the correct value for x but you know in, in checking for this particular type of equation and when you try to substitute your 16 your value for x which is equal to 16.3891 here on x and then uh, perform the computation by pressing your ln and then the uh, parenthesis of x is 16.3891 raised to 4 that would give us a different computation and it seems to be giving us 16 as the value now remember that this is a power uh, this is a power uh, rule for logarithms okay so this is the power property and all you have to do is to put this value okay behind here that's another way to solve it okay so if we do uh, th that method that's another method okay uh, we will have four so this is method number two 
which is the power a uh, rule. Okay, so ln of x minus nine raised to four is equal to eight. Would then be equal to this will be place here behind the ln, so that's four ln of x minus nine is equal to eight, and ln of x minus nine is equal to 2 divided by 4 divided by 4 and therefore uh, now we could perform the raising of the ln so e ln of x minus 9 is equal to e raised to 2 and canceling this so our x minus 9 is equal to e square and notice that we have the same answer. So 9 plus e square. Okay? So this is another method to solve for your x. And when you do substitute it, okay, so let us check. This time I'm not going to have the value 16.3891. I'm going to Include the original uh, e square in the, in the obtained value for x. So that gives me ln of 9 plus e square minus 9 raised to 4 is it equal to 8? Okay, then this leaves me with we could cancel our 9 here, so ln e square raised to 4 is equal to 8. So ln of e raised to 8, is it equal to 8? Okay, so we could just cancel our e here. Therefore, 8 is equal to 8. Therefore, we have the correct solution for the, the this equation. Okay, and therefore, we have confirmed and we have verified that the value x equals 9 plus e square is indeed the solution for uh, our number 41. Okay, last but not the least, we have number 42 for this problem set. And our number 42 is ln of x plus 2 plus ln of x minus 2 equals 0. So number 42. ln of x plus 2 plus ln of x minus 2 is equal to 0. So this indicates again a property which encompasses the product rule. So this would be ln combining the two terms together x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. And we know that the base here is e, right? This is actually raised to e. Okay, so what we're going to do is to raise, okay, is to turn this equation here into an exponential form, which gives us, so let me erase this e here first, so we would have a uh, completely unconfused okay uh, ex uh, expression for this this uh, problem so we will have e raised to ln of x plus 2 x minus 2 will be equal to e raised to 0 and we can just cancel the this uh, expression here and that gives us x plus 2 x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 1. Anything raised to 0, any variable, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So this will be expanded 
I'm going to expand this again. And this becomes x squared plus 2x minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 1. Now for shorter computation of this, remember the technique. Okay, we have a plus b, a minus b. Okay, they have similar binomial terms. Okay, just that the sign differ. So this will be equal to a square minus b square. And notice that it does confirm. It does confirm to, to that uh, theorem. So therefore, we have x square minus 4 is equal to 1. And this will leave me with x square is equal to 4 plus 1. And my x is either positive or negative square root of 5. Okay? Now let me see, let me check if my values for x are acceptable for the given equation. So if I check, so I'm going to check now the, the obtained values for x. So if my x is square root of 5, so if x is equal to square root of 5, then this leaves me with ln of square root of 5 plus 2 plus ln of square root of 5 minus 2. And is this equal to 0? Now let us see. Okay. So let us use our calculator for this expression. So ln of square root of 5 plus 2 plus ln of square root of 5 minus 2 gives me 0. So 0 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, we are correct with the argument x is equal to square root of 5. Therefore, this argument is valid. What about the negative square root of 5? So let's just check. So if my x is negative square root of 5, will it give me the same answer? Okay. ln of square root of 5, negative square root of 5, plus 2, plus ln of negative square root of 5, minus 2, is it equal to 0? Now, notice this part here. And this part is negative, right? So, let us take a look at that portion first, because... We are not sure if there is a, a natural logarithm for negative numbers. So a natural logarithm for the for no, uh, natural numbers may only be limited to positive numbers and zero. So l let us see if we could actually get a value here. And according to my calculator, this is undefined. It gives an error. Okay, so this means that this negative square root of 5, x is equal to negative square root of 5, is indeed unacceptable. Okay, so this premise cannot be used as a, uh, an argument or as a value of x. Okay, therefore, our only valid value for x is... x is equal to square root of 5. Okay? So our solution is x is equal to square root of 5.